When the Nintendo 64 was first unveiled, it was big news. Even before the Wonder Machine was released in some parts of the world, the games were causing a lot of talk, especially this one. It's me, Mario! Once you've pulled his face in a few different directions, you're hurtled into an adventure that's been called the best video game of all time. Super Mario 64 certainly looks the part and lives up to everyone's expectations. The game is huge, although the story isn't that different from previous Mario games. That evil Bowser is up to no good again. He's stolen all the stars from the castle and you've got to get them back. This is where the similarities end, though. Mario has plenty of new moves, power-ups and abilities in Super Mario 64. And, of course, he can still fly. My favourite power-up has got to be the Metal Mario. Just look at the reflections. Impressive stuff. The gameplay is near perfect. The movements are very smooth and the responsiveness is excellent. Although the 3D joystick does take a bit of getting used to. So is this the greatest video game ever? Well, that's up to you to decide, but there's one major problem with Mario 64. How is anybody ever going to top it? Here we go! Another major title to be released is Wave Race 64, the wild, wet and wonderful water racer. This game looks terrific. The water is good enough to jump into. Well, almost. Start by stepping into your choice of one of four jet skis. You can take them as standard or customise your own. Then it's time to take to the waves. It looks easy, but it's actually a lot harder to stay afloat than you might think. Wave Race is one of the N64's first two-player games, and unlike many other titles, it's easy to see both players. One of the game's finest points is its motion. You get a real sense of the spray on your face and the movement of the water around your jet ski as you cut through the waves. A real achievement. And like all good games, there are hidden cheats, like this one where you can ride a dolphin instead of a jet ski. Shall we tell you how? Nah, maybe in a few weeks. Wave Race has certainly made a splash with N64 users so far, and it looks set to be a classic. Pilot Wings is the other game being released along with Super Mario 64, and almost as many people have bought it. Pilot Wings originally came out on the SNES, and the N64 version is spectacular. Choose your method of flight from hand glider, jetpack, or gyrocopter, then select your pilot. The aim of the game is relatively simple. You start by flying through rings, then you must make a safe landing. Uh, did I just say this game was simple? It gets even more difficult as you go along, and you must aim to get as many points as possible on each level. Try for bronze, silver, or preferably gold. Do really well and you'll open up some secret games. The Birdman level is the ultimate way to relax. There's nothing to do except cruise in the air accompanied by some calming music. Hmm, lovely. Another option is the cannon shot, which is self-explanatory. Ready, aim, fire. Hang on, I think I've seen that face somewhere before. Pilot Wings is one game that'll have a long lifespan because it takes a lot of practice and skill to play well. In fact, all three N64 titles look like they'll be gracing the console for many years, simply because they're great games.